prepare yourself for the main event. Hillary Clinton has, by most accounts, clinched the Democratic presidential nomination, dragging her mountainous pile of scandals into the last round to possibly make her the next president of the United States. Hillary's rise to the White House is akin to Richard Nixon in reverse. This is the same woman who recently gave a speech on income inequality wearing a $12,000 Armani jacket. The same woman who, according to a Secret Service account, punched Bill Clinton so hard she gave him a black eye. Granted, Bill probably deserved it, but that is only one clear example of the temperament that could quite possibly have access to 1,750 active nuclear warheads. She's got health issues, and they're going back and asking me and others that have known her since the beginning, what, what is it about Hillary? And Hillary Alex has had a mental issue since day one. She can't, she does not like people. She is an animal. She's everything I've told you she is, and it is a mental problem, and that's what's causing her trouble running this election, to be quite honest. You, you can't make her a people person. You just can't do it. And so that's where we're at. But there's going to be stories about that. But remember, none of these things are going to hurt Hillary. None. And the Secret Service desperately wants Americans to know that the real Hillary Clinton is a monster. According to Page Six, Secret Service agent Gary Byrne writes in his new tell-all book that Hillary repeatedly screamed obscenities at her husband, Secret Service personnel, and White House staffers, all of whom lived in terror of her next tirade. Secret Service agents had discussions about the possibility that they would have to protect Bill from his wife's physical attacks, Burns writes, and the couple had one violent encounter the morning of a key presidential address to the nation. Will Hillary spend the first hundred days of her presidency pardoning herself and permanently silencing her husband's accusers, simultaneously sicking the IRS and the FBI on the Clinton's enemies? Here are just a few of the unanswered scandals that that will surface yet again when Hillary is president, courtesy of WorldNet Daily. Vince Foster's 1993 death, Benghazi, Whitewater, Emailgate, Chinagate, Travelgate, Pardongate, the Clinton body count, where 91% of the Clinton Foundation's money really went. Hillary's assistant, Muslim Brotherhood, tied Huma Abedin's involvement with the Saudis to establish a Muslim America, and we could be here all day if I just kept on going, but it appears stealing the Democratic presidential nomination is child's play to the career criminal known as Hillary Rodham Clinton. The Clintons even attempted to loot the White House when Bill's term ended. The Clintons tried to take 190000 from the presidential mansion in furniture and gifts, attempting to have it shipped back to the Clintons' Chappaqua, New York home. And according to the General Accounting Office, the cost of the White House vandalism reached about $14,000. The agency said some of the destruction was intentional, including glue smeared on desks, broken furniture, offices full of trash and graffiti in a men's restroom stall that disparaged Bush. There were also missing doorknobs, medallions, and office signs. Is there any question that Hillary will sign away any remaining sovereignty the United States has left to her globalist overlords? acting as the cleanup crew for Obama's two-term facade of a presidency, carrying on the Bush presidency's unyielding New World Order disintegration of the U.S. Constitution. John Baum for Infowars.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The 
KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, third edition by Joel Scalzo. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com.